Well, earlier I went along to News International's offices in East London where I spoke to the Director of Corporate Affairs, Simon Greenberg, before all these latest allegations had emerged. I asked him about Rebecca Brooks. Who is going to investigate her role? Well, it's unclear as there are any role to investigate well, at the moment the on the basis that these are all allegations and, uh, and not facts. We're working extremely hard to establish the facts. Uh, she was the editor of the time and she's now leading effectively the clean-up of the whole of the issue uh, regarding illegal voicemail interception well, and any other related issues that may occur. One of the issues is that she was the editor on deck at the time in charge. She was, but let's wait to see what the facts say well, about well, the case How then first. can she investigate herself, given that she's leading this investigation? Well, when we've got the facts, we'll be able to establish exactly how that will be possible. Well, how will you get the facts if you're not going to investigate the editor? Well, we, 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 we're, we're not saying we're not investigating every fact that may come up. We've got to establish the facts. So she's I'm not in sure. the clear? I'm not sure if you're aware. She's in the clear? But she's in, she is the chief executive of this company, and she is leading and is determined to lead this company throughout, throughout, throughout this whole process. But at the time of this particular issue, yes. she was the editor of the paper that published material extracted from a telephone belonging to Millie Dowler. Well, should that be a fact? which it isn't at the moment, these are just a series of allegations, but should that be a fact, it is a fact that she was the editor at the time. Well, you've I... confirmed that she is going to, in... she's going to lead the investigation, but that she herself will not be investigated. That's all I needed to clarify. Let me move on to the next thing. I, I, I don't think, I did clarify that. You've clarified that she will not be investigated. She, will be, she, she is leading this investigation. But she can't investigate so, herself, can she? Well, if, if it's necessary to ask her certain questions as part of the course of the investigation, that's exactly what we will do. You see, you ha have a situation in which the newspaper described the original phone hacking situation as the actions of one rogue reporter. Now that we have three of your employees or, or ex-employees on police bail and one who served a jail sentence, you do understand why there is some degree of lack of belief in the credibility of your organisation. No, I absolutely understand that. And I think we've said that there have clearly mistakes been made of the past in the way this was handled. But we can only be judged on our actions from now on. Since January, under Rebecca's leadership, a number of things have been done that I think have surprised a lot of people, culminating in, last, in April with uh, an apology in, in the civil is a bit press. of an understatement. I yeah, mean, it was a, today surprises a lot of today people. Today surprises, and, and maybe there'll be some more surprises. Well, but would it you is... like to lay any of them out for us no, to perhaps clear the air so that you don't get landed with another embarrassment? Well, we, we will have to is deal... Is there anything else you'd like we to We will have us? to deal with all the incidents as they occur, as subject to a criminal investigation, and you wouldn't want me to prejudice that. But how would you characterise a situation in which a child who has been missing has her telephone hacked into. How would you describe it? Appalling. Shocking. And if it turns out that, uh, that News International did indeed uh, have a situation in which somebody did that on their behalf, what are you going to do about it? Well, I think Rebecca's made it very clear that under her leadership we will take the strongest possible action. But this did happen under her leadership. But if it did, then we will take the strongest possible action, but we don't know so the facts of the case. So that means her own job is definitely on the line? No, I didn't say that her own job is... As Chief Executive, she is going to lead us through this entire process. You must be able to see that her position is completely untenable. Uh, well, I clearly don't see that because I'm telling you that she's leading us through this process and beyond. We have a whole strategy for this company this and for process, the business. This process, it's an easy thing to say, this process, this is an investigation into something which happened on her watch. From well, which... this is one part of an investigation into a much broader investigation into legal voicemail interception, the majority of which, in fact, this is the only case thus far that has appeared under her editorship. So the, the, all the other cases are 2003 to 2006. That is what the police have been dealing with. So this is, only, this is, this is one, an extremely serious, appalling and shocking case. If the facts are borne out, then we will deal with it. Uh, th that was Simon Greenberg of News International. And obviously, we spoke to him before our revelations about the police being bugged by News International. Uh, and until um, we can get answers to that, well, we hope you'll be talking to him again tomorrow or somebody from News International.